Welcome, gun enthusiasts. I am still suffering from trigeminal neuralgia on both sides of the head and face possibly leading to multiple sclerosis. Therefore, I am forced to use text-to-speech voiceover. Please do not attempt to imitate or reproduce any action you see us doing here. We will not be liable if you attempt to imitate us or get inspired by us, cause personal injury, property damage, catastrophe, and emotional pain to yourself or to others. I am not a financial advisor and none of the content mentioned here should be construed as financial advice. I am not a lawyer. Therefore, my opinion on the legal matters should not be considered as legal advice. We own all guns according to the legal jurisdiction where we reside. You should also pass these guns in accordance with the laws of the lands where you live. We will always start with 2A and 4 rules of gun safety. The Second Amendment, Amendment 2, to the United States Constitution protects the right to keep and bear arms. Second Amendment aka 2A states that a well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. For rules of gun safety are as follows. 1. All guns are always loaded. 2. Never let the muzzle cover anything you are not willing to destroy. 3. Keep your finger off the trigger till your sights are on the target and you have decided to shoot. 4. Know your target and what is behind it. In all our presentations you will see us abiding by these rules. With that being taken care of, let us focus on our subject today, which is Walther Q5 Match M2 Open Box and Tabletop Review. I will compare this gun with CZ's P10C and Beretta's APX A1 Full Size. Since many people are deciding about these three hot favorite guns among forces and competition shooter for some time, especially those like me who believe that you should compete with the gun you carry. Because your 5-inch barrel competition, for plus, barrel duty full size, for barrel duty compact guns are the guns you shoot best and therefore those guns have highest chance of saving your life and the life and modesty of your loved ones. I don't like subcompact or microcompact guns because I am not carrying illegally that I would become so preoccupied with concealment to carry a gun that will be useless. Imagine a criminal is holding knife slash gun to your loved one and you have to make a shot for the criminal avoiding your loved one. How much confidence will you have to make the shot with microcompact slash subcompact gun? My guess is you will not even attempt that. But what if you had carried your competition gun slash duty gun? Won't you be much more confident to make the shot? That is what is my point. I bought this gun for IDPA tournaments and concealed carry. I love full size and competition size guns of Walther. This year, my beautiful wife gifted me multiple guns on my birthday, marriage anniversary, and holiday gift. I returned the favor to her. This Walther Q5 Match M2 was my most prized possession among them. It comes in this nice large box, which Smith, Ruger, and Taurus do not provide. Beretta and CZ provide smaller size boxes. Inside, you will find the gun. I have checked that it is safe and removed the trigger lock. You will get the key along with documentation. I had my own key, so did not need to use the key that came with it. You will get the manual and registration instruction from Walther. Firearm safety instruction from NSSF. Youth Handgun Safety Act notice from ATF. You will also get a target that was used to test the gun at Walther before shipping out of factory. Mine was tested by Greets at 25 meter. Five shots. For Alpha and one Charlie. So if I can't shoot it well, it is on me and not on the gun. I know all gun makers test the guns before shipping, but nobody other than Walther includes the target with five shots with the signature of the shooter that checked it. These are small attention to details and warm cordial niceties is why I love Walther. Machine from Solid Billet Steel, the Walther Q5 Match M2 Semi-Auto Pistol is a feature-rich, match-grade pistol. Featuring a wraparound grip panel and an extended beaver tail, this pistol offers improved ergonomics and weight balance for optimal control and impeccable accuracy. The polymer frame features an integrated, five-slot Picatinny rail for aftermarket lights and accessories, while the recessed slide release ensures intuitive control and reduces potential failures to lock open due to human error. The corrosion-resistant slide features aggressive slide serrations for quick manipulation and is ported for rapid cooling and reduced weight. Topped off with a fiber optic LPA front sight and a fully adjustable LPA rear sight, this pistol features a factory slide cut for optional optics, drastically improving its overall accuracy and versatility. If that's not enough, this pistol boasts a 5-inch, polygonal rifle barrel with a step chamber, offering state-of-the-art, match-grade accuracy and reliability. Manufacturer model hashtag 2846926. Parkerized steel slide. Polymer frame. 
5-inch barrel with polygonal rifling. Step chamber. Aggressive slide serrations. Ported slide for rapid cooling. Fiber optic LPA front sight. Fully adjustable LPA rear sight. Integrated 5-slot Picatinny rail. Wraparound grip panel. Model number 2846926. Action. Semi-automatic. Barrel length, 5 inch. Hand, ambidextrous. Round capacity, 15 plus 1. Gun weight, 27.9 ounces. It also came with three magazines, which is one more than Beretta and CZ. The magazines have witness holes at the back for all 15 rounds. CZ has them for all 15 rounds. Beretta has only for even numbers in the 17th round. So Beretta has 17 rounds, that is two more rounds than CZ and Walther. A speed loader is included which was also included in Beretta but not in CZ. Walther neither included bronze brass nor the cleaning rod. Beretta had the brass but no cleaning rod. CZ had both the brass and the cleaning rod. It had three grip inserts. I did not have to adjust the grip. I must have something common with Germans. As you see even finger grooves in any Walther gun fit me as if I was the human model they molded it after. This is another thing why my heart bits for Walther. Berettas also fit me but not like this. But I can blindly order Walther and Beretta full-size guns knowing they will fit me without any grip adjustments which is not the case for other brands. CZ fits without adjustment but not as good as Beretta or Walther. Walther's grip is much smoother compared to Beretta which is more aggressive than CZ is even more aggressive. Now what feels best in hand does not necessarily works best particularly in defensive shooting and combat. I will speak more on that in a subsequent presentation. The gun has nice fiber optic LPA front sight and blackout rear sight. Beretta and CZ have tritium front night sight which is even better than fiber optic sight of this Walther. I feel Walther should have gone to tritium sight for such an upmarket gun. The gun is optic ready but the rear sight is mounted on the optic plate. So in order to use optic, you will have to sacrifice the rear sight. In order to co-witness you will need an optic plate with rear sight. Beretta and CZ are also optic ready and you have the opportunity for cowitness with a much wider array of optics. There is three slots in the box for three type of optic plates. Unfortunately, Walther nowadays includes only one. You can ask for whichever you want but you have to decide about the optic beforehand. This is loss of flexibility but still somewhat positive for Walther as Beretta and CZ do not include any optic plates. There is the usual lock and key required by law. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.